Hey guys, Demis here. Um, just want to do a little uh, uh, overview of uh, my new projector setup. Um, I don't want to put a matrix out on my garage doors, um, only because uh, it's going to be a hassle taking them down, storing them, and all that stuff. So, uh, got the idea from another person who used uh, projectors and uh, I decided to go that route and I just wanted to show you guys how I set them up uh, as a virtual matrix and uh, how they sh how they look so let me just flip the camera real quick all right so I picked up two of these Epson 450 WI uh, short throw projectors uh, off of eBay um, Cool thing is they came with a with their uh, wall mount, so I'm gonna use those to mount them outside. Um, and uh, they don't have HDMI; they just have VGA ports. So I just got a VGA converter that connects it to my Pi. So they each have a Pi connected to it. To turn on the Pi real quick. Um, and uh, the pies are going to be connected to an isolated network, basically a switch. Because uh, um, I put a post up uh, saying uh, that my the output was very choppy, and it was uh, there was static showing. And what happened was I had it hooked up to my home network. And the home network, I have like so much stuff connected to my home network that uh, it was bogging down a lot. So, um, gotta change the source on this thing. So, yeah, the projectors right now they're showing the upside down. And um, if I do a loop. Oops, shoot. Put that. There we go. So, um, how did I get it set up for it to, to get to start working? Um, first, I went to my, uh, you set up the networks, and let me go to my layout. So, I first set out the layout that created two matrix um, uh, on X lights they are 100 by 200 see that 100 by 200 horizontal and start channel is bottom right now uh, depending on some projectors that might change so you might have to figure out where the start point is going to be um, so with this setting you are dealing with 60,000 channels you see that number right there 60,000 so that brings it up to about 118 universes total uh, so total of, uh, yeah 118 universes so that's how I have it set up here um, so a total of 236 universes it's going to be just for the two matrices I'm going to set up on my um, on my garage yes it is big this is why um, I put it on an isolated network so um, so the amount of data is going through this is a lot um, it's 120,000 channels is going through this network so it's going to throw some data out there um, let me bring up the Raspberry Pi. Let 
This laptop is so old. This is about nine years old. No, sorry, 11 years old. Um, still does fine. It has about 12 gigs of RAM. So it is a little slow, but oh well. And that's the IP address. I don't care if you guys see the IP address. You know, nobody can get into it. It's not on a wireless network. So the, uh, the Pies are set up under bridge. Um, the channel input. So this is my virtual matrix one. No, sorry. This is number two and starts out. Let me just bring number one. So it'll be easier. So you have a better understanding of what there we go don't mind the number this is this is number one I gotta change the text on these ones so start channel one uh, universe one 118 universes 510 do not make it 512 keep it at 510 okay do not make it 512 because it'll screw up a lot so 510 that's the input then your channel output you go into others and virtual matrix start channel one channel count 60,000 and this will populate after you put in the matrix size so 200 by 100 and you leave the rest alone and you're gonna when you save it it's gonna say you know reboot the pie and all that stuff now uh keep in mind the start channel will depend on how you set up your network on x -Lite, how you set up your channels uh if you start your virtual matrixes as the first input um this is going to be under um, unicast make sure it's under unicast not multicast because then you're not going to get the right um, the right data sent to your projectors um, so so when you set up your Pi set up your network then you put it on the bridge mode so this way you don't really have to go into the um uh what should we call it the output processor or you know pixel overlay mode no, none of that you just input output and you're done that's all you have to do and uh let me turn off my light let me show you guys how Second, there you go. All right, let me turn off my other light so we can actually see um, what it's gonna look like. Sorry, guys, I know I'm probably gonna I'm giving you guys a headache with me moving the. So I have this effect in there. Let's throw it on the projector. And we're gonna move back a little bit just to see what it's gonna look like. So one of the projectors is a little bit brighter than the other one. I just have to, you know, mess with the setting and fix the brightness. So as you can see, uh, the choppiness is from the computer. It is not because the um, the data is not flowing correctly. My computer is really slow, so it's having a hard time processing this. Um, and you know, when you get closer, it gets a little bit pixelated. So if you can see here, you see how it's pixelated, and that was bothering me when I first set it up. And uh, so I try to like have a bigger display on. Um, 
and man it was big it was massive so let me I'm gonna put this in the middle here so here. so yeah one of them is brighter than the other one so I'm gonna try to bring the brightness down on on the left one so it's not as bright um, but from this distance it doesn't look pixelated but when I get closer look how pixelated that thing is so so I hope this helps out um, let me know if you guys have any questions uh, it was fairly easy to set it up so I mounted my Raspberry Pi with the velcro here um, there's a cover that's gonna go over this then I'm gonna build like a little um, enclosure for it with the coral material so you know protect it from rain and snow and all that stuff and, um, and these uh, these projectors are used uh, for schools mainly um, so they if you find any any of them I, I got this for about 170 bucks a piece and um, that came with the stand uh, with the mount with the wall mount which is a very heavy duty wall mount um, the the lamps are about I don't know 1500 to 2000 hours on them so uh, even if the lamps go out and if I have to replace the lamp it still be cheaper and less work than you know having a uh, full on matrix set up Again, it probably will not be as bright as a matrix, pixel matrix, but, you know, due to um, uh, space issues and all that stuff, these are more compact and easily, much easier to put away than, you know, a matrix panel on, on a garage door. So, um, yeah, uh, if you guys have any comments or anything, I'll welcome you know any questions or feedback I love feedback um, let me know let me know how it looks if you guys think I should do something differently than what I did now or if this is you know ideal for your setup as well you know so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys use the information take care